Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching my channel, and I hope you have subscribed to our channel. We are always trying to put out some cool content. Now, most of this stuff's just units that we have for sale. So if it's something you're interested in, please give me a call or text me, or you can reach me by email, which is Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, at chasecoach.com. So I feel like I need some ACDC back in black, just blaring in the background with this coach. I'm going to say this is the sharpest Super C. It's a show hauler. It is the sharpest one that I've ever seen. It's the sharpest one that I for sure has ever drove on this property. It is black with a little bit of chrome. It's got chrome stacks. It's got black fuel tanks. She is just nasty. I like it. I like it. I like it. So let me tell you a little bit about it. The, the chassis is a Peterbilt 359, but really there's nothing like original about it other than I think the hood and the doors on the cab and maybe like the metal on the cab. Everything else was redone before it was sent to show hauler. So let's start, we'll kind of start grazing our way around this way. So um, Peterbilt 359, the engine is not even original. It's got a 3406E for Echo Caterpillar C15, 625 horsepower. It's got a six-speed Allison automatic transmission. I think it's the RD 4500, if I'm not mistaken. My dad, who does most of the pickups and deliveries for us, he said, Bub, it's the fastest and most powerful truck I've ever set in. And he drove it about 10 or 12 hours. He said, it'll run whatever speed you want to run on flat ground, and it'll do the same thing going uphill. So the conversion was done at Show Hauler in 2014. The coach is 42 foot in overall length. So 42 foot overall length. Again, conversion was done in 2014. Um, twin 80 gallon tanks underneath the door. So 160 gallons of fuel, LED headlights, LED marker lights, a boxed in bumper. Uh, you can see some lights there below the, uh, the air cleaners. And then the stacks. Those are not just for looks. Those are real. And it's got a Jake break that'll wake every one of your neighbors up. If, if you think they need to get up, just roll by their house and turn it on because she is loud. Uh, 42 foot overall length, two slides. As you can see, one slide on the driver's side, one slide on the passenger side. Uh, it does have the bunk beds in it. In, one, in the slide, it's got bunk beds. So it sleeps up to 10 people. And that would mean two over the bunk, Two on the sofa height of bed. So it's got a sofa that seats three people comfortable and comes, you know, turns out to like a queen size bed. So you got two over the bunk, two on the, the sofa bed. The dinette turns into a bed for uh, one adult or two, two children. And then you have the bunk beds, which are on the uh, passenger side back there near the bedroom. And then you have a queen bed in the back. So a 42 foot coach that sleeps 10 people. It's got one large bath kind of mid coach. Um, as we go around it, it has the Michelin Super Singles, okay? So that is a 445 50R 22.5. I'm going to show you the tire. I don't know how wide, but that thing's at least, it's not two foot wide, but if it ain't, it's not far off of it, okay? So the Super Singles, which is a very expensive way, rides extremely good. Uh, show hauler, uh, polished stainless mud flap down there below, 40,000 pound hitch. It's already plumbed with a glad hand fitting. So if you got a trailer, you're pulling with air ride or air brakes, you're covered. Uh, it's already got the uh, yellow, which is a 50 amp outlet off the generator. And then it's got set up to where you can pull a trailer with electric or air brakes. Now let's talk about the hitch. 40,000 pound is the max rating. You can see your big safety chain hooks up in there. But I have the two-inch receiver. I've got the three-inch receiver. I've got the pinnel hitch. I've got the mini fifth wheels. I have every hitch you can imagine in stock, okay? This is cool. 
you rarely see a regular 110 outlet on the back of them. I like that. Ladder for roof access, again, another nice option. So we talked about two slides. So one was over on the driver's side, one is here on the passenger side. Again, play along, ACDC back in black is just blaring. I think you gotta listen to that when you drive this thing. It's just kind of fitting. So um, here in a second, I'm gonna open up the compartment doors. We'll go through those. Uh, but this coach is for sale. It You will have the talk of all your buddies. I promise you, there's no one that has one this sharp. I've sold, oh my gosh, probably well over 250, maybe 300, you know, similar coaches, but a black Peterbilt with a little touch of chrome, it just, it's built right. Um, you'll see as we go look inside, the dash is real custom um, and uh, no emissions. Uh, this death fluid wasn't even thought of uh, when, uh, when that engine was built. So um, I think that's all. Patty Oani, we'll run all that out here in a second. So let me open up the storage bays. We'll go through those and then um, we will take a look at the interior. So stick around again, share the video with some buddies. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. We would love to have you as part of our channel. And uh, thank you for tuning in. If this is something you're interested in, give me a shout. All right, back here with you. So open up the hood because I want to show you how clean this truck is under the hood. And it's even got chrome under the hood too. So we'll start here on the passenger side, first bay or first little storage uh, locker is going to be store, just storage, open storage. The next one back is a 75 liter Dometic cooler. And you'll see the lid has, it's split in the middle. So this is a dual zone, the CFX uh, cooler by Dometic. It runs off of 110 or 12 volts. So uh, if you're going down the road, you, it'll just run off your batteries. And you can, um, you can freeze, um, you know, make a freezer out of one side, and then you can set the temp on the other side to chill uh, your beverage of choice. And, or you could do beverage of choice on both sides or freezer on both sides. So a lot of options there. Uh, third compartment back is going to be uh, storage, and it also has a 110 outlet and a TV connection. So if you were wanting to put like a little outdoor TV or whatever you could, um, next one back is the propane, and it's a 31 and a half gallon, so good size tank. Uh, it looks like it's about half full now, and we'll make sure that is filled up. Last compartment back on the passenger side has a water pump in there, and that almost tells me that this has extra water storage. So I'm going to verify that and put it on our website, but a lot of times when you see that extra pump back here, that normally means it has like an extra water tank under the bed, or not under the bed, excuse me, between the frame rails. The standard one would be under the bed. Again, we talked about the hitch, uh, 50 amp outlet off the generator. Uh, it's got your uh, marker light connection for air brake trailer or electric brake trailer. We'll move on around. Uh, left rear compartment is gonna be your another, um, the, your 50 amp, that's where it goes in. So that's where your shore power would connect. And I do keep the shore power reels in stock. I believe you're about a thousand bucks if you wanted to put one in, but we have the capability and can do that. Your automatic transfer switch is mounted and I think that's something to do with a slide out underneath that little white piece of metal. Um, this is your sewer, also known as the wet base. So you have your black and gray tank, one handle on each, very simple, very user friendly. Um, coach, and then your water fills are down here. Um, oh, I see that. It does have two tanks. This is potable tank one and potable tank two. So dual tanks, 12 5 on end generator with 633 hours. It was replaced uh, October of 2023, so the end of last year. The batteries beside the generator, those are your engine batteries. So there's a, a big aluminum disconnect knob. Uh, that is going to shut power off to the motor. Back here, is, or the next compartment, is your house batteries. They are 6-volt batteries, and there's four of them, and they are wired to where you have a 12-volt output. Next compartment up is going to be the Magnum Energy Inverter. It's a 3,000-watt inverter. So that inverter... I'm sure you know what an inverter is, but if you don't, let's uh, give you like the 10-second the tour here. So what it does is it takes 12-volt battery power and turns it into 120 volts. So going down the road, you can watch TV, you can charge your cell phone. Um, what else? Oh, it'll run the fridge. A um, lot of options with that. So 
uh, inverter is, is a must have on an RV anymore. And then the next compartment is storage again. So I'm counting one, let's go back around it. I'm counting one storage, two storage, because that's one of the deal or deals on a Super C is people say, ah, oh, there's not enough storage. So we got two. This one on the right rear makes number three. This one makes number four. And then we have the fifth one. And if you wanted, if you didn't need the cooler, you could set that out and basically have another one. So there's five there uh, total and six if you remove the cooler. So, all right, let's look at this, um, the engine bay. Again, it's as clean and polished as the top side. It's also got some chrome like the outside. Chrome. As I said in the video, though, that chrome won't get you home, but it does look good. Twin 80-gallon tanks. That's an uh, a Luma tank. Painted black. We had our polish guy polish all of the steps and stuff. Makes a huge difference. Oh, I know I mentioned this. Mm, made me jump, actually, and I was the one doing it. So... Uh, the interior, all custom. You can see kind of like a carbon fiber look in the middle of the door uh, with some stainless mirrored inserts. Six-speed Allison automatic. You got two pedals down there. Gas and brake. The dash, all custom, does have diff lock, SCI steering wheel. Legacy low seats. There's your Allison six-speed control. Very nice. Oh, there's tape on the edge of the radio. I'm not sure why that's there. I just saw it a minute ago. I was actually doing a FaceTime video with a customer on this one and um, saw it. It is not sold yet. So go to chasecoach.com if you want to um, take a look to see if it's available. If it's on there and doesn't say pending, then it is available. CB radio, backup cam, neat headliner with some stainless inserts in it, tinted windows. Loaded to the, what is it? Loaded to the gills, I think. Yeah, so super nice looking truck inside and out. A one of a kind. I'm going to call this the, the show hauler back in black show truck. That's the name of this one. The show hauler back in black show truck. I like it. All the doors close nice and tight. All the seals are like new. Give you another view of that dash. Oof. All right. So time to go inside. So I'm going to pause just a second, make sure I got all the lights on inside, and then uh, we will give you a quick tour of the inside. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe to our channel and please give me a shout if there's anything I can help you with. Hang tight. All right, so here we go. Limited edition. Free with purchase. Alrighty. So kind of, uh, I would call mid-entry. I mean, the door's not behind the cab, so we'll call it partial mid-entry. Coach. Um, that is the cover that goes over the steps when you're going down the road. The dinette, very nice, neat, little storage under it. There's a furnace under this side, so technically you just have storage over here. But seats for people, the center leaf of the table drops down for two. Nice cabinetry throughout, as expected from show hauler. Um, Sony surround sound, uh, Blu-ray DVD, Samsung smart TV. And I guess all the cabinetry, all the remotes are up here. Very nice, tight. When you have nice cabinets in a, in a coach like this, it prevents all of the rattle traps going down the road. And it, there's nothing more annoying than riding in the back of one of these with everything and its brother vibrating together and clinking and clanking. Huge bunk over the cab. You got a light switch here that controls that. And then you have a switch on that light. Little windows, of a vent where you can bring some air in. Um, the uh, cab has privacy curtains too. As you can see, they're just a very simple uh, blackout curtain. 
And we put those in new. The other ones I had were kind of a weird color. We're going to cut these and sew them to length. So they're just kind of a little extra long right now. But wanted to tell you about that. So the first slide is behind the, um, the driver's side here. So you got a sofa that turns into a queen size bed. Then you have like a little partial part of the kitchen with a three burner electric cooktop. You have a convection, a GE convection microwave oven, good size. There you go. Um, you have a like a tiled backsplash, and I'm not sure what the name of that countertop is. It's some type of solid surface. You have a double basin, stainless sink, kind of a bigger part of it there, and then smaller one here with the matching covers. Looks very nice and neat. Again, tiled backsplash. We're going to throw a roll of um, paper towels in with that. I I'm just kidding. You thought I was serious for a second. Yes, we're going to throw a roll in, but don't. I didn't mean to make that sound like a, a huge upgrade. All right, so the fridge. I just had a gentleman call me. We were doing a FaceTime video, and one of the questions he had, he said, man, I love the interior, but he said, for my wife, I know she's going to want more than the two-door RV fridge. Well, you know, Dylan, no problem, sir. We can accommodate. And um, pleasing the women is what sells us these coaches. The men want to buy them regardless. The women are the ones you have to talk into it. So I told him we can do that. Now, what will happen is we will extend this cabinet over. We will shorten this one. So this one will end up a couple inches less width. This cabinet will be a little wider because we're going to put, if he buys the coach, uh, and if anyone, whoever is looking at this video, if you're interested in this coach and I have it for sale, we could do this for you. Um, we're going to put a residential fridge in. If he buys it and wants that, we, we are capable of doing it. Now, you may go, hey, between the outdoor cooler, um, outside, and this one, that's more than enough. And you might say, hey, I'd rather have the extra width on the cabinet space. But we have full capabilities uh, at my shop here of doing a uh, retrofit, I call it. So we would basically um, remove this fridge, extend the cabinet, modify the wood, and put a Samsung French door which has, you know, two doors on the top and then like a big pull-out freezer on the bottom. So just keep that in mind. We are capable of doing that. Um, here we have the slide-out, which is on the passenger side. You got a couple bunks, good size. I'm six foot three. I laid in them. They're comfy. Uh, has a little privacy curtain that kind of goes along with it there. And then across from the two bunks, um, you have a bathroom with a Tecma macerator toilet, porcelain toilet, um, you got your panel or your cabinet up here with all your electronics and stuff and your inverter panel. Um, just a very basic sink. And you have um, overhead light, medicine cabinet. There's a mirror there. There we go. So I'll give you a view. Uh, a big shower. So for the bathroom, I mean, it's not huge. The, the bathroom's not. But the shower, very good size. Very easy to keep clean. Okay, so we go back outside, turn to our right, and we have the bedroom. So has a queen-size bed. You can get around both sides. Now, when the slide's in, you can't get to this side of the bed, but you can still access the bed, okay? Because um, you can access the bathroom going down the road. But um, lots of storage, place to hang some shirts and stuff. Looks like a cedar line closet. I like that. Probably got a little drawer here. Oh, some pillows. Didn't see those. Um, so lots of cabinets, a uh, little fan, looks like someone was like me, got to sleep with a something, a noise or something blowing air. But again, very neat, two ACs, one here and then one up front. It's 42 foot coach. I think I mentioned that in the beginning, but 42, to, 42 foot overall length, TV. I think that's all. I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting, but... Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please give me a call or send me an email and uh, we accept trades. We deliver nationwide and we can get there really quick in this one because I'm telling you, it flat will put the horsepower to the ground. So 2014 show hauler on the Peterbilt 359 chassis, 129,000 miles. I think that's one of the most important things that I did not mention. 129,000 on the, the um, odometer there. 
one of a kind, a one-off full custom truck. And it's priced to sell close to probably half of what it would be to build it new. And it is nice. So if there's anything that I can answer for you, questions, whatever, uh, give us a shout. And uh, go to chasecoach.com for the full listing. Uh, again, if if you're wondering, if you're going, hey, this video is a month old. I wonder if the coach is still available. Well, A, go to our website. And B, if you don't see it there, you can call us. But chasecoach.com has all the pictures and details. So anything that I can help you with, please give me a call and uh, we'll take it from there. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time today. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.